Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, stamp your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, clap to the beat. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. So we're going to talk about this very simple song which is mainly a, another so me song which uses the minor third apart from the ending and this is a really useful song to use with early years and perfect because it's so easy to pitch with that so me or minor third interval which is the easiest interval for us to pitch and sing so a great song to bring into our early years work we're going to think of some ways that we can extend this song and use it in some different ways. The first obvious thing that we would want to do with this song is move to it. And the children will have their own unique ways of illustrating each part of the song. And one thing that you can go on to do is to maybe bring in a teddy bear. Good song if you're doing a teddy bear's picnic or any um, uh, bear related topics, traditional tales, Goldilocks and the Three Bears and you can bring in teddy bears and actually we can use the teddy bear to make the movements which is what I'm going to do today um, rather than show you the movements myself. So let's just go teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, stamp your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, clap on the beat. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. And we can have a lovely cuddle at the end. Perfect um, place actually if you wanted to bring in a rocking song or a calming down activity. If you've got a teddy bear, you want to just sit and rock to some nice calming music. So that's one way straight off to extend. Obviously, there are lots of different versions of this song and you may know your own version. So feel free to use different words if you have them. And while we're talking about words, let's talk about um, the opportunity here for you to ask the children, what else do you think the teddy bear can do or will the teddy bear do? And we can make a list of actions that the teddy bear is doing and add them to the song with appropriate actions. And again, um, as I've said before in some of my videos, I tend to take whatever the children give me and force it into the song as long as it's um, appropriate to do so and I tend not to judge what they say so they may come up with some weird and wonderful ideas and this is all good creative fuel which you can take into writing activities. So one of the other ideas that I had for this song is to use it as a start um, to using instruments with the children and um, often when instruments are used in early years, um, I know that teachers tell me that they're not quite sure what to do or how to introduce them to the children. And quite often they get relegated into a box which is used outside because it's too noisy. But I've just got an idea here of some instruments that you could use. Um, you will have your own ideas and you can use your own instruments. And if you don't have standard percussion instruments, feel free to use um, anything that can make a sound. So for example, here I've got a drum. This is a rather nice drum, but you could use a container. You could use a container drum um, or anything really that you can tap. So a table or a chair even. So just thinking about using something as a drum. That's, that's my first instrument. And then I've got a really lovely um, tabasta here. But obviously you might not have anything like this. You could use a shaker, a bottle shaker, anything really. But I wanted to use this for the turnaround because I think it's 
a really nice way of turning it around but you'll have some of your own creative ideas just to say this is a child size um cabasa um so that's why it's a bit small for my hand you don't really want an adult size cabasa for small children if you're thinking of getting one of these so that's my cabasa then um i've got a little shaker which is also a scraper here again you could use that for the turnaround or you could use a rain stick just thinking about it that might make a good turnaround sound and i was going to use this for turning off the light and then i've got just a little bell that i'm going to use for good night i'm going to try and do it with all these instruments obviously you what you could do is assign different children different parts so this is going to be my um touch the ground and it's also going to be my stamp your feet so instead of stamping what we're doing is we're taking those actions and putting them onto the instruments um, this is going to be my turn around and this is going to be my um, turn turn off the light and my say good night and you can suggest instruments but also it's quite nice to um, ask the children to think what they might use so this could be um, a good activity for continuing provision where you select a few instruments and ask the children to select instruments for the teddy bear sounds and you can take these activities um, very easily into creative writing um, or storytelling type activities where you're asking them to use the instruments to help tell a story. So um, where you can sing it here, which is what we're going to do, but equally we could then move on to telling a story about Teddy Bear's Day. And I'm sure you can think of lots and lots of different um, books that you can um, just combine with this activity to um, uh, just extend it. So here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, stamp your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, clap on the beat. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. There you go. That's just um, my idea for a way that you could use instruments. I think this is a great one for using instruments. And you could carry on taking those instruments into um, a company, um, a story which you have, which you're telling in your class. All sorts of ideas. Um, the other thing that you might like to do with the instruments after that is to set a little composition activity for the children where you ask them to use the instruments without the words to tell the teddy bear's story. And um, it can be a very, very quick little, if we, if we took those sounds without the words, for example, it would sound like this. So we've got a clear beginning and an end with the um, bell. And what we've done is we've taken out the words and we're just using a kind of soundscape, if you like, of the song. And you could add extra things in then. You could say, well, how does the teddy bear get upstairs? We're going to walk up the stairs, sorry, get upstairs to go to bed. We're going to have to walk up the stairs and we can make some sounds walking upstairs. And you can add in lots of different things on the journey. And also, then you can move into asking the children to create their own verses and create their own soundscape. 
take away the words and then we've got a musical picture of the activity. So um, I hope you have fun with that activity and um, I look here forward to hearing any of your ideas um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.